That story about the world behind our eyes is so profound. We tend to forget how powerful we are in terms of its manifestation, and we hold our dreams there. And sometimes we follow dreams that aren't really what the universe wants for us. And the reason that we do what we do is so profound. It came home to me very deeply just a few short weeks ago. I've lost track of time. <laughs> what is time? Um, Cape Town Interfaith Initiative and one of our grassroots organizations, Faith, Hope, Love Communities, we collaborated for a very humble and small event called Prayers for Our City. It was on the first Sunday in February and the, the purpose of that was, um, well, Prayers for the City on the first Sunday in February is designed to coincide with World Interfaith Harmony Week. It's something that we do every year. World Interfaith Harmony Week from the 1st to the 7th of February is international recognition of the importance of interfaith work and the opportunity to make our circles bigger and to take interfaith to the next level, to draw more people in. We decided to hold our event this year in a very, very poor community that is deeply challenged and divided by criminal activity, gangsterism, drugs. And some members of the community had gotten together a few, a short while beforehand, and they had cleaned up a particular vacant plot that had become a hotspot for criminal activity. They painted the border walls, they had cleaned up the grass, they had decorated the roadside edges with um, with brightly painted tires, made it pretty, and we decided to go and have prayers for the city there. It was a very humble event. We had no idea that we would attract the attention of the international judges for the United Nations World Interfaith Harmony Week and that we would be awarded first prize. I took a long walk on the beach when I first heard that, thinking, no, really? Us? Can't be, but it was. And so I found myself a few weeks later in Amman, Jordan, in the Holy Land, in Holy Week, accepting this amazing award from His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan. It was a profound moment. And now I've really realized the importance of the message. So I have to say this, the King said to me, it's my favorite line, you're allowed to laugh, the king said to me after the ceremony, he said, Barry, people like us have to continue to spread the message. Please keep talking about the importance of interfaith harmony. It is more important than we realize. It is so big in the world today. We need to keep doing what we're doing. Often, when I speak to children, they say to me, what is interfaith? And I say to them, well, what's your favorite flower? And they tell me, a rose, a daisy, a lily. And I say to them, yes. And you see them all in the garden together, yes. And which one does God love the most? Oh, it's a great question. And every single flower in the garden is fed by the same soil, is fed by the same rain, is fed by the sun. It breathes the same air. We breathe the same air. So how are we not connected even though we are separate? How would I not absolutely revere and respect your presence on this earth even though you may not be in agreement with me on how to create and express your own personal sacred practices. So in coming together in compassion for others, we experience a celebration of healing, not only for ourselves, but for the entire world. These are the values that are universal. <laughs>